Law enforcement officers trying to track down those who engage in the sort of activity you're seeing in that video right there. Found their job made a little bit easier by the fact that virtually every single person in there wouldn't wear a mask and recorded themselves doing all of the law breaking. Sometimes in real time, filming and live streaming and things like that while they were there. Other times leaving after having done it and then recording videos of themselves saying which crimes they just committed. So one individual perhaps other than Viking Horn's goat man, the most iconic of the people who broke into the Capitol is this individual. So you're seeing him right there, Richard Barnett. And we know his name because he filmed himself in the speaker's office with his face visible. And he was incredibly prolific on social media leading up to that event. He has now been arrested. He was apprehended in Arkansas and charged with entering and remaining on restricted grounds, violent entry and theft of public property. Barnett bragged to reporters about what he had done shortly after exiting the Capitol. He uh, apparently materials were taken from Pelosi during the raid with potential national security implications. One of her laptops was stolen. They say Whoa. it was only used for presentations. Um, but in theory, both the things that were taken as well as the things that remain behind electronically need to be checked to make sure that they weren't manipulated. So he faces a maximum penalty of one year in prison. We have details on one other individual, which we'll get to in a second. Um, there are about 13 individuals, I think, who have already facing charges. But so far, it looks like other than those who are directly involved in the violence and the, the killing of several individuals, the killing of a police officer, um, this is probably something like what the consequences they'll face once they're identified. One year? One yeah, year. Well, ma maximum of one year. So, yeah. So what, nothing? I mean, it seems like a lot for me, but I'm not, you know, a terrorist. I don't know. I, I, guess. <laughs> like, I would I expect a lot more if you bust the into Capitol. the Capitol and steal mm -hmm. and break things. I would imagine there'd be a lot more consequences than that. And I don't think yeah. he's going to even serve any time. Look at Kyle Rittenhouse. Also, where was Kyle Rittenhouse? Isn't he supposed to be out there protecting buildings? That's a good, good point. point. Yeah. I, uh, you know, you look at that picture of this guy. And that just looks like more than one year in jail. Okay, and and in going back to remember the book and the movie, a time to a time for a kill, or a, you remember at the very end when McConaughey gave the whole speech and then said, "Now imagine she was white." Just picture a black person sitting like that in Nancy Pelosi's office and tell me that that would be one year. Picture tell me he'd be Muslim, alive still. Picture a Muslim so sitting in the, in the Capitol, in in the Capitol, sitting like that in Nancy Pelosi's office, and tell me that that looks like one year. That would be Gitmo. That would be you're a traitor. And to steal a computer, to steal a computer from the Speaker of the House's office, you don't know what's on that computer. No one knows. No, this is ridiculous. One yeah, year, I, 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 could, I could joke about this forever, but I, on a I serious live, note, that doesn't I look like the, one year. The city center here in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, during the uprising, they had vans, police, sheriff uh, department vans, six of them, rolling up La Brea Avenue, heading to where the uprising had started first in the Fairfax, Fairfax district. They managed to round up all of those protesters who were in fact Peaceful protesters for the most part. Sure, some of them were breaking windows with nobody inside, mind you. And they were all managed to, they, they managed to arrest those people. This man not only went in there, broke everything, he walked out free as a bird, gave an interview to the press about all of the crimes he just committed, and then was able to go home. Sure, they went and found him two days later after he brazenly flaunted everything that he did. If he was a black man, Alonzo, he'd not, he wouldn't have made it out of that building. He wouldn't have made it in the building either, but he was certainly wouldn't have made it out. You know, that was a display of white privilege and white supremacy and the entitlement that these people felt walking in there, that they have dominion over this land that they think they colonize themselves. They have dominion over those buildings and they have dominion over people of color. And they are wrong and we're not gonna be dissuaded by these people. And he needs to be held accountable. And I hope the Biden administration is ready to go to bat because one year is not gonna cut it for me. I will um, say this very quick. I have started a GoFundMe to get the Capitol Police some rubber bullets because apparently they've run out of them. 
So we're gonna buy them some, and maybe next time I mean, they'll be ready. Choke cold, choke colds are free, and they usually use those all the time. So I don't know what was yeah. going on. So um, the thing about this individual is, at least as as far as we can tell now, there like he you know he broke in, he broke stuff, he stole stuff. Uh, he doesn't so far seem like one of the ones that was involved in the actual like the dozens of cops who were injured or the one who was killed, but. There is reason to believe that in theory, he could have ended up going um, even worse in here. Uh, we've got some quotes from him from past posts. He said uh, at one point, now we have a term that fits me and many others and they try to turn it bad. I am white, there is no denying that. I am a nationalist, I put my nation first, so that makes me a white nationalist. F and A, we are nationalists, you aren't, and get the F out of our nation. And he also said just in December, he came into this world kicking and screaming, covered in someone else's blood, and that he was not afraid to go out the same way. I like how he referred to his mother as someone else. Yeah, that's <laughs> sort of weird. It's um, a little impersonal, I, sir. And, and again, I'm not sure of how the law works, but if you break into Walmart and steal a laptop, don't you get more than one year? If you're black, I, I yeah. Don't. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, this is like, couldn't they just use the, you know, breaking and entering is a felony, right? Stealing like that is a felony. If they forget about the national they're security, they're only charging them. That. They're only charging them with trespassing. Yeah, that, that's that's ridiculous. Basically, yeah, they didn't walk on a lawn. They weren't trespassing through a public space. They busted windows through the Capitol, walked in. Now we are going to find out in time to come that there were cops, the Capitol Police, there were people who were in on this. Obviously, we've seen the footage of them just sitting there doing nothing, opening the barricades, taking selfies. They were aware that this was gonna happen. That mob was prepped. They were told that they were not gonna be met with resistance. That they were told that they were not gonna be shot at when that woman was killed. They said, "Oh, it's just a flashbang. They were, they were told that they were gonna be allowed to do it. And they went ahead and did it. And we are gonna find out who in fact was involved on the inside in every single coup, part of the police are part of it. Every single coup in history, we've known that there's these insiders that allow it to happen. So we we yeah. see this. Now, every tweet that that man made on Facebook, whatever, anything incendiary comment that he mentioned, now should be held against him. They all should be held as, as tried as treasonous, I think. I mean, yeah. it, it's beyond breaking and entering. Well, yeah, this event really, I think, like if you're if you're watching this, especially if you're outside of this country and you you don't get how our politics works, which I understand because none of it really makes any sense. The relationship between the right and law enforcement this is like the perfect example of how it works. Like you have multiple instances of evidence of the the cops siding with these like with the people trying to literally break down the doors and get in there and all of that. And then they get in there and they bash in the head of a cop and kill him. Like they align themselves with these movements and these movements are always the ones that end up killing them. The sovereign citizens who ambushed them, the Boogaloo boys who shot them during the protest this summer. Like they will always prefer these people and these people will in the end return um, you know, their, their favor with blood. That's, that's just the way it goes and I don't, I don't understand it. You had some cops standing aside, letting them in. You had others literally being killed. Anyway, I did want to mention one other individual who is going to be facing some charges. This is Lonnie Kaufman of Alabama. Drove his pickup truck carrying nearly a dozen Molotov cocktails, two handguns, and an M4 assault rifle, just a short distance from where a crowd of Trump supporters stormed the Capitol. First assistant US attorney Ken Cole said some of the Molotov cocktails retrieved by law enforcement officials contained gasoline and styrofoam, styrofoam, making them homemade napalm. But it was just a goof, it was just like they got out of control a little bit. I mean, sure, some people brought pipe bombs and some people brought napalm, but it's just a goof, everybody move on. Or at least Tucker Carlson would, would have- Boys will that. be boys, right? White boys will be boys. They're the only ones allowed Those to the be only boys. boys, exactly. I don't exactly. wanna ever hear anybody saying anything about looting targets ever again in my life, okay? You go in there and you steal a couple of, I don't even know what people were taking out of Target. Toilet paper, I guess that's the hot commodity these days. And then they're, they're just looking, they're turning a, a blind eye to breaking into the Capitol. Stealing podiums? I mean, it's like a lampoon vacation movie. All right. Well, yeah. if you, you know, like you said, John, if, if you look like you and do it, you're a patriot. And if you look like me and you do it, you're a thug. It's, it's really that simple. And like you said, Viviana, the cops are in on, like, how are they not 
going after the cops that were taking selfies. Do you not need more proof? You have a selfie. One of the beautiful things about their <laughs> stupidity is they post their crimes. Like one of the first things you learn in crime school is don't tell anybody, <laughs> not take a picture of it and put it out there. You, you didn't go to crime school. So yeah, <laughs> they're terribly <laughs> flunked out. Terrible. They're an embarrassment yeah. to criminals. They really are. There are criminals <laughs> shaking their head today saying, I, I can't believe it. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.